Hi, I'm James Dempsey from Photo Workout, and in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about organizing photos in Luminar so that your photos are carefully curated and stored. By the time you're finished with this video, you'll know all about Luminar's albums, folders, and rating system, and you'll be able to curate your own images like a pro. Let's dive right in. Now, organizing your photos in Luminar, it starts by importing files. So to import these files to Luminar, you just have to tap File, uh, and then you say Add Folder with Images. Uh, when you click this, it will bring up this dialog box and you'll be able to, to find the folder that you're interested in. Um, another option is to just click this plus box here uh, and then you just go add folder with images or you can actually choose to add it just a single image if you're only interested in working on uh, just, just one image. Um, uh, and then your photos will come up uh, imported into Luminar. It really is quite fast. Um, it's much faster than uh, programs such as Lightroom and uh, then you're able to just immediately go through your photos. Now when it comes to actually going through your photos uh, and, and really cataloging them and making them uh, uh, just putting them into this nice framework there are two, two big methods of, of organizing your photos in Luminar. First, you can organize your photos uh, in albums. Uh, and you can see the albums uh, header over here. Or you can organize your photos into folders. Now, photo, or, now folders are Luminar's default organization tool. Whenever you import a folder of images into Luminar, a corresponding folder is created in Luminar. Um, uh, so, so if I were to go here and I say I want to import a folder, I get uh, a folder from the desktop and then it will become apparent here once it's been imported. Uh, the same is true if, if you uh, import the folder this way, it's going to show up down here under folders. Um, but note that Luminar's folder structure corresponds to the actual photo structure on your desktop. So once you import a photo or import a folder, you're free to drag and drop photos from, from that folder to another folder to another folder. And you can even create subfolders by going here, new subfolder. But this will move actual photos on the desktop and it will change their locations. It will create, if you create a subfolder here, it's going to create a subfolder on your desktop, uh, within the folders on your desktop. Now albums, on the other hand, are only created at your direction. So Luminar doesn't automatically create them. If you, you know, if you add a folder with images, it creates a folder. It won't create an album. Um, Luminar won't actually, it won't create the album until you hit here, the album plus icon, and then see new album and you're, you're free to name it. Uh, whatever you like. Um, now albums, unlike folders, have no desktop correspondence. So you can create as many albums as you like and drop as many photos into them. You won't change a thing in your actual computer file system. This is all within Luminar. Um, and, and because of this difference, because folders actually mess with what's on your desktop and albums uh, are just within Luminar, well, you can technically organize your folders or organize your photos in either one of these. I really recommend that you work with albums, not folders, because they give you these organizational options without messing around with your true fo folder structure. Now, the main drawback to albums is that they only allow for a single level of organization. So you have, you can have an album, uh, here, this one just has one photo. You can have my, my examples here. Um, but you can't actually create a subfolder um, or a sub collection or anything. Like in Lightroom, if you want, you can create a street album, then you can create a portfolio within that street album. Like um, it's called collections, but, but it's, it's basically that. Um, um, but here, all you get is just this single level of organization. Um, 
And and this is just kind of frustrating. So if you need greater complexity in your organization, um, you you don't really have anywhere to turn. Now, your, your one option um, is using the built-in rating and flagging and favoriting tools. Um, so in Luminar, you can you can choose to flag uh, uh, photos. So if I, if I click on this photo down here, I can favorite it uh, uh, or flag it as it's sometimes called, or you can hit P and that will pick it. Uh, P, P for pick, U for unpick. Um, uh, and so you can do that. Uh, you can also give it a star rating. Um, uh, and, and here you can just come in, click, go ahead and give it a star rating, uh, click again to get rid of it. Um, and you can also assign a color label here. So if you come here, you can give, uh, uh, different labels to different photos. Um, and when, when you're using this view here, the loop view, uh, you'll be able to see all of these options uh, underneath your images. Uh, and so now that you understand how photo organization works within Luminar, I'm going to share with you my suggested organizational workflow. This should keep your images neat and organized within the Luminar interface and it will allow for easy editing and easy access. So first I recommend uh, when you when you come when you come into Luminar, um, create an album for every photography genre or topic that you engage in. So you get to decide what this might be. You might create an album for uh, street photography, for portrait photography, for bird photography, uh, or if you just shoot streets, then maybe if you just do street photography, then maybe you want to create one for urban landscapes and then another for street portraits, that sort of thing. It's, it's really up to you depending on what, what you do often, but you want to group it in a coherent fashion. Um, uh, and, and then once you have, once you have your albums, so ignore folders, you just, just work in the album. So once you have your albums, then I recommend going through the photos in the album and doing a first pass. And here you can assign a pick or a favorite label to the photos that that at least sort of make the basic cut. Like they're they're decent. They're not not amazing necessarily, but they can be amazing. It's a combination of the decent to great. Um, and then once you have those, so those are your picks. Uh, then if an image is really quite good, portfolio worthy, then you go through again and you rate them five stars. And you can give the other ones. Uh, four star, three star, two star, like ratings, depending on uh, how you feel about them. So first, albums, then picks, then uh, star ratings. Uh, um, and so hopefully that will give you a way to, to just sort of organize your photos while still just using the, the, the admittedly limited uh, album capabilities within Luminar. Um, it, it's not as good as Lightroom, but if you are uh, looking for for a, a sort of basic editor, great for beginners, but also powerful, uh, then it's probably worth learning to make do uh, with Luminar's uh, photo organization uh, capabilities here. So now that you've finished this video, you should have a quick and easy way of organizing your Luminar photos. Plus, you know everything that you need to know about working with Luminar's photo organization tools. So head over to Luminar and start organizing. Uh, and that's all for now. So thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for other photo editing tips and tutorials.